We're back! Yes, we're back. Last time I uh, paused a recording in this game, everything went to crap. Uh, there's nothing in those rooms. I remember that much. So we'll just go straight up to the bridge. Ladder. Thank you. Let's go straight up to the bridge. Bridge. It's really quite a nicely appointed ship, considering its size. Charts, we got mugs, we got my dad, we got a speedy thingy. Let's talk to my dad. Oh, that's the map. Another thing, which I'll show you now, that this game has, is the discovery system. You can come across... I remember how to play. You can come across... Ooh, save, that's good. I forgot you could save everywhere, in, in midair anyway. On the ground you need points. Overwrite that. That was from last time. Uh, you will come across little areas where your compass starts going crazy. I can't remember which island it is. It's not that. Must be this one. Yep, like that. And it's a discovery. Something nobody's seen before. And you can sell this information for, for money. someone else is to get the discovery before you and you won't get paid as much for it and you can collect fish in midair and you can still get into random battles yeah gaslings these guys are pretty easy um, yeah and the more discoveries you make the better your rank So you need, to, you need to get all of them pretty much to fully complete the game. good as a support character, not as a lead attacker. These goldfish are slightly better. Miss them. Just an altitude. Uh, try again. Damn it. No, oh, maybe they were a rank sea fish. Uh, there's another discovery here, but I can't get that high yet in this ship. I can't go above this ceiling. I need a better ship for that. So let's just continue on home. Pirate Isle. With a very Thunderbirdsy approach. And you'll see why in a minute. The only thing about this microphone is that when you press the mute button, <laughs> it immediately unmutes. So you still get the clicking of the button registering, so sorry about that. It'd be nice if the microphone had like a split second before it came back up. Beggars can't be choosers, I guess.
pirate isle where the men do the work and the women stand around and gossip and make dinner. It's a really progressive island. It's so cute! Somebody call for Tracy Island. Also, do you want to see the worst approach ever for a landing? I'm sure that wouldn't work. Because this was aimed at a younger audience as well, there's no actual alcohol. Uh, they drink what's called lucra, which is not in any way a pun on liquor, uh, which is just a fruit juice. Mm -hmm. It looks challenging. <laughs> That's one way of describing it. This game doesn't take a lot, doesn't spend a lot of time taking control out of your hands. We'll get back to playing very, very quickly. when I first started this playthrough that this was a JRPG but I actually think Overworks were a French company I have that in my mind somehow I'll, I'll verify that for next episode um, but it's definitely JRPG style is what I mean nothing around to pick up and there's the tavern stays up for the cutscene. Seems to be holding. <laughs> We're always late.
Oh, SpaghettiOs. He's a man who sticks to his convictions. Except, you know, he's not. Thank you so much. Yes. So many things to not be late to. Do I get to be in control again? Yes, I do. Right. It wouldn't be a top secret base without a secret slidey bookshelf, would it? There. I do not being so slow on the ladders. I'll just steal what's clearly my dad's gold. There. Go back up and we'll do a little bit of shopping. Spend some of this gold. that one just yet. This isn't a shop. I don't remember which one is the shop and which one is the tavern. I don't want to go into the tavern because there's a load of talking about nothing. This is our house, we still have to buy stuff. How many of these have I got? I need only two, let's get eight. Let's get one more of those. Get some of those. Oh, I can sell my fish. Because. They're only useful for selling. They were still at one HP. I don't think there's anything I can really buy yet. Oh, I can buy that for Ica. Buy armor. back. That'll do for now. Right, let's go. Let's go topside. going to happen in this episode. Am 
might be another episode until you get to some really meaty bits. I remember this bit. Head up this way. Over to Ika's house. Oh, hello. He's so cute. A running joke is how little Fina knows about the world. Ooh, what's this? It's a handkerchief. What's it covering? What could it be? <gasps> Creepy music as well. <laughs> of course, blame the person you're you're spying on, Vice. Lovely. You're just a lovely man. Right. Not a huge amount to do until I but I'm a, I am a save hound. I save so much. Um Ah yes. I can get to that chest now. Go through here. I've forgotten. I think so anyway. Doing some powering up. Hmm. Not much point learning that one yet because I don't can't even get enough to use it. Those are very handy to Delta Shield is very handy to have. Used a lot in battles. There is a boss who casts a spell, Eternum, which is. It doesn't have a 100% chance of hitting, but when it does, it's instant death. But because it's magic, you use Delta Shield and it nullifies it completely. So there are some. There are some battles where all Ica does is cast Delta Shield. Right. That was pointless. In we go. Speak to my mother. You don't speak to my mother like that. I don't know where that came from. Sorry. Yep. Oh, all right. We're done. We go back inside. We know. You caught us peeking. Eh, what is wrong with my controller? Sensitivity is all mucked up. Yeah. Layout's kind of like, you know the houses in Pokemon where everything seems to be in one room and there doesn't seem to be enough beds for everyone. And I'm not quite good. I keep pressing the bumpers to change my camera. I've not quite got to look out of one yet, because I think there's another chest around here. Come on, here we go. Yeah. Sacri crystals. Fun. Friggin' dusty. There's nothing else. So. You guys like ladder, ladder climbs? Cue the snake eater music. It gives that one a run for its money. It's actually not that bad. 
Actually, it is kind of long. Hilariously long, actually. I mean, ooh, there's something floating around up there. certain item to get that. It is nice. It's pretty. You guys ready for a plot device? Because we're going to get a plot device. Spice is a dreamer. So there's our plot device. Now we know what we're doing next. Dinner's ready. <laughs> She's super late. World of Skies of Arcadia doesn't have just one moon. It has multiple moons that all sit over certain lands and give those lands certain properties. Obviously pirates don't worry about health and safety. Ooh, purple moonstone. I can now use purple magic. Yes, 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 we've been over this already. So, Fina's not coming with us. Probably good, because we don't know what she's like in battle. I mean, I do from playing the game, but... You know, at this stage, the characters don't have a clue. A little rendering issues there. Lots of red lines on those groups. 
And so all the stuff I bought yesterday, I didn't actually need. Let's go! We are heading... I'm not entirely sure which way we're heading, actually. I don't know how much we can get to north. I probably should have checked with someone before we left. Oh, no, I'm sure I know. And you can just see there what looks like a mail... some sort of storm. That's below... Below the clouds, we can't get there. That's what Vice was talking about, the maelstrom. And we also can't get through that cloud and that rock just yet. Our ships aren't powerful enough. Oh, we've been taken by surprise. If I remember correctly, oh, missed. you don't actually need to use a certain color spell for the a certain color weapon for the entire battle. You can switch to it right at the end. So, I mean, if I was to keep green and red on here for now, for convenience, and then switch to purple right at the end, I'd get experience with purple. <laughs> Run! Miss! Let's switch to purple. Let's get some purple experience here. Oh, this says miss for running when it doesn't. That was easy. Let's see. Let's remind myself. Yeah. So because I switched before the end, I don't get any red experience, I get to have more moonberries! My god! Maybe this is a GameCube thing. Maybe they upped the drop rate on them. I really don't remember. Time for Shrine Island. I really don't remember moonberries dropping at that rate before. Um, this could be good, you know, because there's always a pain in the ass trying to learn all the special moves. Said the bishop to the actress. How bad can it be? Those are the magic words that just turns everything to crap, isn't it? calls for a next time. Don't you? Next time on Skies of Arcadia Legends. Bye-bye.